I have mu1 is m1 over l1, which is 10 grams. So this is 10 times 10 to the minus 3 in kilograms divided by 2 meters. So this is 5 times 10 to the minus 3 kilograms per meter. And mu2 is m2 over l2. m2 is 6 grams, so this is 6 times 10 to the minus 3 divided by l2, which is 3 meters. So this is 2 times 10 to the minus 3 kilograms per meter. So knowing mu1 and mu2, I want v1 and v2. v1 is just the square root of the tension in the first ring, t1 over mu1. And v2 is square root of t2 over mu2. So knowing mu1 and mu2, all I need is to find the tensions, t1 and t2. Now what are the tensions? We have 20 newtons here. So the tension in each string must be 10 newtons. That is, both strings support this. So I have here the rod. I have a tension here, T1. I have a tension here, T2. I have 20 newtons here. So each one must be 10. Now, of course, you may say, well, in fact, they add up to 20. This much we know. Because of equilibrium, this, since the rod is in equilibrium, we know that the upward forces must equal the downward forces. The downward force is 20 newtons. So the upward forces must also be 20 newtons. So I know that T1 plus T2 is 20 newtons. This much we know. Now the question, of course, is why is it that T1 is also equal to T2? Now, this has to do with the fact that, that the rod is in equilibrium. So, so the torques must add up to zero. Now, for example, I could calculate the torque around this point, the center of gravity of the rod. Around this point, the torque produced by the weight is zero because the weight goes through the point. I have two torques, one produced by T1, one produced by T2. The torque produced by T2 tries to make it rotate counterclockwise, so it's positive. The torque produced by T1 tries to make the rod rotate clockwise, so it's negative. So I get a positive torque and a negative torque. The positive torque is the force T2 times the perpendicular distance. The perpendicular distance is the length of the rod divided by 2. And the negative torque is, again, T1 times the perpendicular distance, which is also L over 2. So those torques must balance. This means that T1 L over 2 is equal to T2 L over 2. So T1 must equal to T2. So T1 equals T2. And so each one is 10 newtons. So T1 is 10 newtons, T2 is 10 newtons. So this is square root of 10 divided by mu1, which is 5 times 10 to the minus 3. So this is 10,000 
that is 10 to the 4 over 5, which is which is 10 to the 4, out, we take it outside the square, it's 100. So it's 100 over root 5 meters per second. V2, again, it's 10 divided by mu2, which is 2 times 10 to the minus 3. So this is 10 to the 4 over 2. So the square root becomes 100 divided by root 2 meters per second. So that's how we get the speeds on either the speed on either string.